jump. No lactic acid. Perfect. And for a 56 year old, no, no problem. 60. 60. 60 year old. Okay. Give me a fist pump. <laughs> refund or no refund? No refund. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay, done. We got another episode today. Uh, somehow interesting because we're going to be meeting uh, uh, three friends. Tito Rene. Tito Rene is a 60-year-old uh, uh, businessman. And then another one of his friends is uh, Tito Manny. Ma Tito Manny, surprisingly, is 72 years old. And then lastly will be Kuya Eric. Eric is the youngest of them all. He's turning 48 years old. Uh, but so far, still in the prime of his uh, life. These three friends are all uh, part of a businessman's group in Pampanga in Angeles City somehow during the lockdown and during the lockdown they started biking as part of their perhaps you can say a holistic uh, transformation uh, they used to do bowling they used to do gym workouts they used to do tennis but all those sports were just fad uh, one of the best activities that they uh, all love together that makes them wake up in the morning excited with cycling. So Tito Rene uh, somehow found our videos on YouTube and Facebook and found them very interesting because one of the things that he noticed is that uh, we don't really try to focus on your skill level if you're advanced or you have to already have a nice bike or you already have to be uh, a seasoned rider uh, literally you can come from zero and, and then from there we can try to help you out how to develop a program custom made just for you to help you enjoy your cycling so we're gonna be off driving to Clark we're gonna be meeting them for coffee at Tom and Tom's one of the things that they were offered and this goes for everyone before you undergo any biomechanical tuning or bike fitting or any program that we may be deciding on one of the things that uh, we try to highlight to a lot of people is that we provide free consultation okay so free consultation means that we just have coffee talk about it figure out what you want overall and my job is to guide you what is a more realistic realistic program I mean if you want to be Mr. Universe and compete in the Tour de France I'll downright tell you that, uh, that that's impossible so what we want to do is that we want to guide everyone regardless of your skill level regardless of your age regardless of your background what is the most optimum program that you might find uh, doable now part of that deal is that after we figure out what's optimum for you then we develop a customized program that would address everything that you want uh, starting maybe like for Tito Rene and Kuya Manny uh, perhaps nutrition how we can make them holistically healthy it's not just about biking and then bike fit them today if we think that uh, they'll benefit from bike fitting and then if we do bike fitting and biomechanical tuning then we're gonna go be go riding riding together so today's episode will be focused first on the first phase of the program which is consultation bike fitting and biomechanics part two of the episode is that when we get to ride perhaps uh, tomorrow and test if uh, they can practice and um, if they can execute everything that they learned today okay so that's uh, CRZ bike fitting that's CRZ biomechanical tuning it's all about a holistic approach for newbies and enthusiasts we arrive in Clark super dry glad the rain stopped and uh, we were very fortunate enough to work on this very beautiful synth composite olive green uh, very rarely see this uh, color but it just blended so well and then another one would be this uh, giant classic giant and finally an argon we're here at our location in Clark from our uh, parking space
Ayan na, mga the young men. Okay, let's go, let's go. Kote na muna tayo. Okay, let's talk. Si Tito uh, Rene, no? Tito Rene, how young are you? Okay. 60? Uh, going 60. Going 60. Si Tito Manny? 71. 71. Pinaka pogi. 47. 47. Ayos, ayos. Okay, okay. So these are our latest uh, That's Entertainment, ano? <laughs> Qualifying. Sige, tala. Coffee muna tayo. So we're here at Tom and Tom's. We're just gonna have coffee for a moment before we discuss about how to bring back uh, Tito Rene's vibrancy like when he was young. Okay, tara. Everything starts with an inquiry. Uh, usually we get inquiries online from our Facebook page and then what we recommend instead of uh, just going straight to a bike fit or biomechanical tuning you want to figure out why you would want to invest in an activity like this i mean it's not cheap everyone really works hard for their money we set the expectations we uh, set up the deliverables making sure that everyone gets what uh, their money's worth so what we're gonna do right now we're just gonna adjust the bike okay Okay. okay, this is uh, Kuya Rene, yeah. turning 60 years old. And then the next uh, kid on the block, <laughs> the next kid, si Tito Mania, 70? 72, 71, 71. Okay, so this is our deal, Tito Erica. Para walang placebo effect or nothing else, what we're gonna be doing is you're just gonna ride. Wala kayong sasabihin sa akin, ha? we've never met before, this is our first day of meeting. I don't know what's wrong with you. So the trick is, you just ride, and then based on your riding, I'm gonna identify if there's nothing wrong or if there's something wrong. You shouldn't be influencing me on the outcome, okay? So if this is legit, I should be able to see immediately what's wrong. And then you just have to nod your head kung yes or no, okay? Okay, dokie. Okay, let's ride. Yes, that's Okay, so let's just make a quick uh, introduction. So we have Eric, Tito Mani, and Tito Rene. Okay, so these three stooges. <laughs> Uh, basically, the, the main objective is uh, how to help them enjoy their cycling. They, they got hooked into cycling. They were into bowling before. They were into gym workouts before. They realized during the lockdown that maybe health is more important now than business. These three guys are established businessmen. Uh, they work hard their lives, their entire lives. Now, I think uh, we've uh, got to a conclusion that maybe this is the right time to start reinvesting on themselves. So cycling would be a beautiful, beautiful sport instead of running because, you know, as we grow a little bit more mature, our knees are not that strong anymore. Uh, so the first step in any program is that instead of us riding out, because if we ride out, they're gonna be more concerned about trucks, cars, motorcycles, dogs passing by. So instead of doing that, we're gonna do a, a stationary bike. Uh, my job right now is just to watch them how they ride. If, if this is legit, what a computer would normally figure out in one, two, three hours, or what would, you know, a normal Q and A would figure out, we can cut the we can cut the trial and error question and answer just by watching the way they ride. The reason why we want to watch you ride is that immediately we can find out your riding comprehension. Riding comprehension, basically gives us an idea how you comprehend writing okay it doesn't mean that you're strong that's already it we want to see your body posture body reaction uh, how you uh, adapt to different stresses so we're just gonna be warming up for 15 minutes after that we're gonna start climbing okay so, here we go Are you 60 72 years old 47 years old okay okay so first step in a bike fitting program Let's just see you ride, okay? And that is a beautiful Sid. So Tito Rene has a beautiful Sid over there. He got a classic Giant and a super classic Argon. Okay, let's check him out. 
So uh, the first step in our uh, small group bike fitting is just to see how you ride. And these boys are young men again, seniors from 72 to uh, 60 years old. Uh, we are here at, uh, we usually have our outdoor bike fitting program because immediately after bike fitting, we're gonna be having a uh, test ride, okay? Uh, road test. So our next location will be here at, uh, if you wanna see us, we are here at Tom and Tom's in Clark. And then from here, we start riding uh, just to confirm if the boys had their bike fitting dialed in. Okay. You, you, if you have a keen eye, if you know what you're doing, if you've been riding just by riding, a, looking at the way people are riding, you would already know. So for example, here we go. You seem to be the most veteran, okay? Kuya Rene, on the other hand, it's very obvious that your bike is too long for you, okay? So without you telling me, because this is the first day that we met, you would normally have, you know, numb fingers at the end of the ride, okay? The youngest of them all, <laughs> Tito Manny, uh, your bike is set up to be really, really upright and relaxed. So I think you did a good job uh, as a starter. So if you want to join us, we normally uh, accept small group focused bike fitting programs and training and then from there if we figure out that you're already perfect you, you you don't really need a bike fitting let's just have coffee just like today our coffee at tom and tom's uh so the minimum requirement is bring me coffee we're gonna have a free consultation so we're gonna be signing off for a moment and then we'll be back and uh, after a few minutes we're just gonna finish the coffee Again, thanks for everyone for uh, watching all our video clips and uh, it's free learning for everyone. Not everyone needs coaching, not everyone needs bike training, but anyone, everyone, maybe you deserve to have uh, free learning. Okay, we'll see you in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this uh, baguettes. Uh, I think they're done with their warm-up. We're going to start climbing now and then we'll be back. Uh, hopefully, you can visit us in our future studio here in Clark. So... If everything works out, we're going to have night rides, group rides, free consultation if you drop by at Tom and Tom's. And everyone is welcome. Remember, cycling is for everyone. Not everyone needs coaching. Not everyone needs bike fitting. So hopefully the videos can help out. Okay? My favorite coffee is, uh, what do you call this? Uh, mocha. Mocha cappuccino, okay? All right. Bye, Drin. Cebu, I'll be back in Cebu, Busai, let's go ride, and in Oregon. Hey Eric, have you done any Ironman before, triathlons, duathlons? Yes? Okay, so I guess that explains why you have all those stickers, okay? Yeah. So obviously, just like what I was mentioning before, whenever we do comprehensive assessment, every person is treated uh, uniquely, it's customized, okay? It, do it doesn't mean that you all have the same bike, you all have the same style of bike, we have to take into consideration your level of comprehension, okay? So since Kuya Eric has been doing triathlon, it's very obvious, it's very fit. His bike is obviously a classic, but it works for him. Kuya Eric, can you go to the aero bar? Aero bar, okay. So when you look at Kuya Eric's on the aero bar, he obviously looks super, super good, okay? What we don't see behind the scenes is that, well, it's really difficult to explain it on the video, that his saddle position forces his center of gravity to always be forward. Therefore, holding onto the hoods will be a little bit of, uh, you can say, you're gonna experience some heaviness on the hands, right? Okay. Number two, the way his saddle is positioned, even though he's a longer guy, he would be using a lot of his quads. And the moment that climbing goes up, your quad starts burning. True? Okay, okay, so don't no placebo effect. Tito Manny, same with you. If you notice the way you're holding the bike right now, it's front heavy. Front heavy means that you have to keep on controlling the front end just to keep you balanced. In fact, just by the, looking at the way you're riding, you can already see that even on a slight downhill, you tend to break. Okay? Because you feel like the front end is a little bit twitchy. Even though you're just going downhill at 30, 40 kilometers per hour, it still feels scary, okay? 
Kuya Rene, on the other hand, the fittest of them all, just by looking at this beautiful army green olive seat bike, uh, the bike is too long for you and too low. Okay, yeah, it, it looks good on magazine, but for your level of fitness, we have to, you know, change the geometry a little bit so that you can sustain a longer cycling program, okay? So now, Tito Eric, we're gonna go climbing now. The reason why we have to put you on a climbing mode is to stress the body to see and expose your inefficiencies, okay? So go back to your hoods, go back to your hoods, stay there. So if you look at Kuya Eric's position, every okay, so at the moment, Eric and Kuya Rene are now on a climbing intensity. The reason why we have to put you on the climbing intensity is to expose all the inefficiencies of your muscle, okay? Because a bike fit is useless if on the third hour of biking, everything starts hurting or on the second hour of biking. A bike fit will only make sense if you can start riding from kilometer zero to kilometer 50 or kilometer 60 on the same happiness level. Okay, so this posture that he's having right now is bobbing around is a clear indication that he's using a lot of his quads to propel him forward. And this one will literally burn your quads to bits, okay? And this is also an indication that his core muscles are not, you know, uh, engaged properly. So we're gonna be fixing him to start changing this style of riding, okay? Okay. Okay, Kuya Rene, good. So Kuya Rene, on the other hand, if you notice, this is too low. Well, it, he looks really, really good. But honestly, it doesn't feel like it when you start riding, okay? Can you video my sweat? <laughs> okay, the youngest of them all. The youngest of them all. Uh, <laughs> Tito Manny. Okay, Tito Manny, if you look at your position right now, you're so relaxed, but still, yeah. the fact that you're holding here, where you're holding right now, yes. that's your natural position, supposedly. Yes. Can you put your hands forward a little bit? Higher? Higher pa. Okay? So if you notice, after a long ride, you cannot hold there anymore. Yes. It's because it's stressing your lower back. Yes. True? True? In fact, I can guarantee you right now, the hayahay ang buhay position, go to the top of your handlebar in the middle. Right. No, no, here. Now you can go like that forever. True? Yes. Okay. So that position for Tito Manny, supposedly, takes away the stress on the front end. You agree, Tito Manny? Front? Front end, the heaviness on the yes. front, right? So, this would be your ideal position, supposedly. Now, we have to understand that you still have that gut. This gut now is pulling you forward, down. Yeah. This gut is one of our number one project for the nutritional program. We're going to remove that. So, the tummy is pulling you down. Yeah. And it stresses this. You tend to do this. Yeah. Okay? So when you tend to do this, it's gonna hurt your lower back, okay? Yeah. Okay. So right now, you have to make sure that while you're holding here, you're pushing yourself backward. Yeah. Yeah. You feel that? Yes. If you keep riding like this, it's gonna start developing your lower back. Oh, okay. Hold. Okay. Just keep on doing that, okay? Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Okay, Eric, you're done. You're done. Boys, everyone's done. Can you get off the bike slowly? Tito Manny, get off the bike slowly. Slowly. Are you together on the bike on the left side? Yes. Like this? Slowly. There you go. Oh, okay. okay that, that works fine. Confirm? This one starts yeah. hurting. Problems. Oh. See that? See that style? <laughs> right? I, 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 I told you. So my style is the Yeah. Okay. So this is how you so get off the bike. After that, well, well, you know, right? Now I know. You notice when you started climbing, you were starting to do this. It's it's a very clear indication that 85% of your muscles are not working. I'm not gonna explain you, to you yeah. anymore why, but you know. 
because you felt it and you cannot deny it because I saw you, you felt it. So when you start doing this, it means that you're not engaging your core, you're not engaging the other muscle. It's purely here. Yeah. Okay? Number two, your saddle forces you to slide forward. Right, so we're gonna change the bikes now after the assessment confirmed. Um, we'll go, we're gonna be doing a quick bike fit. Bike fit is very simple. As long as you have uh, basic knowledge about posture, you ride, you know the sensations. So there's a difference between studio fitting and if you ride with a customer because you know every fit that you do, if you test it on the road, you'll have an emotional factor involved instead of just theoretical because it's the one written on the article yeah i mean don't get me wrong that's that's fine we're just saying that it's a little bit more superior when you say you can really feel what you adjusted on the road okay so the guarantee that these boys did the right fit if they can start riding with us so the idea is for their ages on the flats they should be able to do say 30 kilometers per hour as their normal speed resting or 28 okay uh well that's it okay so see you in a moment okay so uh that's bike fitting mm, that's how fast we can uh, do the bike fit portion uh and then the next step now would be the uh, biomechanical tuning. So we're gonna find out if this bike fits fit, uh, and the only way we can see that is if their performance significantly improved or not. Everything is just uh, a waste of time. Okay, so we're gonna call them uh, before we proceed to coffee, and then let's see if uh, everything works out. Let's see. You. So we're done with the bike fitting part, and you've seen that. Now we're gonna test if this bike fit literally made them better. Not just comfort, okay? Comfort is already a uh, default, but let's see, okay? Here we go. Okay, boys, we're done. Let's check out the uh, bike fit, if it fits, okay? So don't look at the bike, just ride on them and then try to feel how it feels, okay? That's a priority. Okay, let's go. Can you hop in? Let's just see if you can reach, yeah. Let's see if you can reach the bike now. Don't look at the bike, just try to feel what you feel, okay? You know how to do it. Yep. Slowly. So this is Tito Manny, 72 years old. So just try to feel the bike, okay? Now you can reach the brakes anytime you want. Now you feel look more upright. Like literally, you look, yeah, you look better. Can you hold on to the tops, you know, the middle? No, the middle. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, like what I'm seeing, hold on to the hoods again. The brake hoods, yeah. Now you're there. Okay, you seem a little bit more upright. Very nice, just give me a few more minutes, a little bit faster than that. Faster, good. Okay, now you can really reach the brakes. Now, Tito Mani, higher. And then this one, you twist it inside. There you go. You got it? And then straighten your elbow, straighten your elbow. That's it, start biking. Right, now you look more upright. So it's not gonna put a lot of stress in your lower back now. So as we go along and uh, reduce your tummy, then everything's gonna be better. Nice. Okay, I, I, I like what I'm seeing. So can you say, tell me if the brakes are reachable now? Yes. Right? Much better. In fact, can you do your old style before of sliding your hand backward? Literally, you're done because you don't have any cycling shoes. So we don't, we cannot activate the other muscles. So you're literally done for now. Get off the bike. That's so anticlimactic, but yeah, that's how it is. So okay. this is you climbing now. Keep that steady, okay? Beautiful, beautiful. So this is Tito Rene now, climbing on the biggest ring, smallest cog, same intent. This is him a while ago. Very nice, keep it going, huh? Keep it going. Push down, lift up. Push down, lift up. Push down, lift up. This is him now. Okay, Tito Rene, a little bit faster than that. Push down, lift up. Move forward on the saddle. Move forward on the saddle. Straighten your elbow. There you go. Now, we're gonna go to the flats, okay? Remember, you've been climbing for 25 minutes. Okay, keep it going, here we go. We're gonna change now. Tension. Ready? Go. Faster. Don't move. Faster. Faster than that. Come on, faster. Come on, faster. On my cue. Good, 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 good. Faster. Faster. Ready? Set. Sprint. Go, go, go. Five. Four. Three. Two. Recover. He looks good. You feel it? Yeah. Now go to the arrow bar. Go to the aero bar. Steady, yeah. Start, yan. Start lifting up. Don't push down yet. Very nice. Faster. Lifting up, ah. Huh? Faster. Now on the time trial, I'm gonna shift your gears. Four. One, two, three, four. Two line, right? So just lift up. Lift up. Faster. Don't move. Lifting up. Lifting up. One gear down. Very good. One gear down. Very good. One gear down. When I say sprint, this one you have to pull it towards your face, okay? Without moving. Here we go. Biggest swing, smallest cog of the flash. Ready? Set. Go. Push down the flat. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Recover. Done. Woo. And then I'm just gonna shift. Pedal. One, two, three. You'll notice it's just too light. Feel it? Okay, with no recovery, get off the bike. No recovery. Let's see how fast you can recover. Hold it. Remove. You feel it? You feel it? No problem, right? You feel good. Can you yeah. jump? Jump. No lactic acid. Perfect. And for a 56 year old, no, no problem. 60. 60. 60 year old. Okay. Give me a fist pump. <laughs> refund or no refund? No refund. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Okay. Done. Right. Okay, Eric. Hop in. Nobody's gonna go uh, around you. You can take off your mask if you wanna, just to make sure that you can breathe. Remember, nobody's gonna go around you, okay? So, let's test now if this bike fit really is legit. Testing, okay? Testing. Very nice. Okay. Oh, you did it, Eric? You good? Okay, so yeah. you're done with the bike fit. Can you stand up a little bit? I'll just check the seat post, okay? Uh, okay, let's just tighten it, okay? So we lower the saddle. Okay, perfect. Can you sit down? I just wanna see. Stop pedaling. Stop. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna tighten this one now. Stand up. So we've uh, adjusted the saddle. There you go. Okay, okay, done. Okay, so we're now gonna test 
your before and after. Remember, at the moment, you're in the biggest ring, smallest cog, at the hardest climb. Remember, you're climbing a while ago, right? Okay. Steady, hey, not yet, not yet, not yet. <laughs> so, first, we're gonna do your climb, right? Okay, so I'm gonna change the setting to climbing. Number six, just a while, like a while ago. There you go, that's six, right? Six. Biggest ring. He's on the biggest ring, smallest cut. Okay, Peter Eric, start climbing now. You know the drill. Straighten your elbow, start climbing. Very nice. So this is Eric now. To give you a perspective, what he looked like a while ago with the same gear, same cog, same intensity, this is how he looked like a while ago. Okay? That's how he looked like a while ago. Don't move around, make sure that your elbows are straight, okay? Your shoulders are not rocking. Same idea. And then this is him now. Massive difference. Now, Koy Eric, we're gonna make a demonstration that you're gonna be climbing 12 to 15% gradient, okay? And let's see if you can generate more torque with the new bike fit, okay? So, go to the high torque position. Okay, squeeze and go. Yeah, when I say sprint, you have to pull it, push down it, but this one stays steady. Don't push down yet, okay? Now, keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady. Good, 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 good. It's steady, okay? So, Kuei Eric is now demonstrating how he would be climbing on those super, super steep climbs. The reason why he needs to make this posture is to generate more torque. He's not more powerful, okay? He's just that. He's generating more torque, okay? Kuei Eric, can you start sprinting on the climb? Set, go. Faster. Don't move. Come on, come on. Faster. Come on. Come on. This is him sprinting on the climb now. Same setting. This is him an hour ago before the bike fit. Keep it steady. Very nice. Don't move around. Perfect. This is him, okay? This is him a while ago. Keep it steady. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. You're climbing now. Biggest ring, smallest cog. And this is him now. Keep it steady, okay? We're gonna go to the flat soon, okay? Let's see if you can destroy the bike. Squeeze those chest together. Squeeze those elbows, okay? Here we go. We're gonna start going to the flats to see if, you, if your lactic acid will stop you, okay? Here we go. So we're gonna change the setting now to go to the flats. Let's see if you can still sprint, okay? Go, faster, faster, set, go, 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 come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, faster now, 2, arrow bar, arrow bar, arrow bar, continue, 10, lift up more, lift up more, you're, you're starting to bounce, you have to lift up more, when you're starting to bounce, it means that you're pushing down too much, just lift up. Good. On my cue, you're gonna start sprinting on the arrow bar, okay? Keep it steady. On my cue, ready, set, go, 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 come on, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done, done. How do you recover? Go to your hoods, straighten up, that's it. Now, I'm not gonna give you an opportunity to rest, okay? You've been climbing 25 minutes a while ago, plus the drills, plus the climbing, plus the sprinting. Get off the bike. We just wanna test. No placebo effect, okay? Let's see if it's effective. Your bike fit is useless if you nothing really changed. Now you can run. <laughs> no lactic acid. Okay, okay. Fist pump, man. Fist pump, fist pump, fist pump. Good, nice, good, nice. good, good. Nice, huh? So, he can attest, no placebo effect, no lactic acid. And we can start running. As simple as that. The three stooges. <laughs> the three stooges. Thank you very much. Wait, 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 refund or no refund? No refund. Okay. No refund. Okay. No placebo <laughs> effect. So we're gonna ride soon together? Yeah. Where are you? Did you feel it? Yeah. Totally different, right? Kaleng. So that's all folks, so that's Bike feeding for seniors? Okay. Baguettes. For juniors. For juniors now. Okay. Thank you very much. Done. Okay. 
So this is Tito Eric. To give you an idea, these are all his tattoo. Okay? Just to showcase that even if you've been a veteran, a seasoned racer, you can still learn something, right? And yes. this guy, you cannot scam. Okay, guaranteed. He's not, he's not dumb, he's not gullible. Okay, so don't tell him he's stupid or else I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> Tito Manny, even with that I tummy, still have to learn. cute yan, na yan, okay? Especially Tito Rene. Tito Rene, we wanna thank you for initiating this project, but thank you for Eric for uh, passing on the videos to Tito Rene. So, that's the reason why. And that's why we try to take a video of all of us with all these boys because our idea is how can we inspire more people, okay? It's not about proving to other people that we're better. It's not about proving to other people that you're stronger. It's just really a learning community. And if you just want to learn, try to watch our videos. Today's topic will be Kuya Rene, Eric, Tito Manny, the That's Entertainment boys. Three Stooges. The Three Stooges, okay? <laughs> so signing off, if you want to uh, talk to us, uh, drop by Clark. We can provide you free entertain. I mean, not free entertain, free consultation. Okay, so bye. just in case you need any help, we organize small group training, small group, uh, small focus group uh, discussion and consultancy. We even do a lot of the family programs just in case you think that biking would be a good alternative for family bonding. Okay, so I'll see you in a moment. I gotta go and catch them at Common Pounds. Okay. <laughs>